Hello, hello everyone! Welcome, welcome! As you can see, we're just getting going here and heading back over to White Brim, White Brim Front from the uh, Rust Area in Camp Dragonhead. Hello, Octi! Hello, Cold! Hello, Foxfire! I think I saw Ripley in there, didn't I? Mm, not at the moment. We shall see. We shall see. Mm hmm. We have one side quest to go, and then it's back on the main story. Up oh, there he is! Hello, Ripley! Welcome, welcome. Hey, hey! Oh, one thing to check. Okay, 39, 39. No, 39, I don't want to play with you. Go away. Is about <laughs> as low as it gets. Okay. Yeah, what is my job situation? White Mage is kind of hurting. Yeah. Might have to do a couple different runs just to get the levels up. Nah. We've just not had time during the week to try and get uh, these girls uh, quested while we aren't in in stream because uh, <sighs> we're currently on a relic grind and it's being very grindy and the queues are being very queuey and yeah. <laughs> It took a couple of days the last step. This step, uh, we might only get one relic out of the entire thing because it's just taking so long. And why am I pointing at this guy? I don't need to talk with him. We need to go over there where the quest marker is. <laughs> it's possible. Oh yeah, way up there. Yeah. Halfway to somewhere we're not going yet. Hello, Tigris! Good to see you! Mm-hmm. My lowest is actually my white mage, so we might have to do something about that. We'll see. Oh, oh, there it is. I knew there was a quest marker around here somewhere. Dragon Scale, the diamond hard, fire resistant scale of a mighty Dravanian. Dun dun dun. Not just any Dravanian, but a, a mighty one. That's it. Yep. I feel so underwhelmed. <laughs> so, to catch up on what we've been doing during the week, um, Theron finally got his doggo from Tsukiyami. That means we have started as... The help desk has started as a group to work on Biako, which is going to be fun. TM. <laughs> Yeah, Bishi Tiger Boy is um, being very snotty at the moment. He constantly picks Theron up and throws him across the room. <laughs> Falcion? The dragon minions are dead. Now, do you not feel like a woman grown with honor intact? Know that you removed one of the obstacles to retaking of the stone vigil. How like the Dravanians to send their mindless servants to do their dirty work. We have the advantage over them, for all who serve Ishgar do so free, proud, and clear of thought. Interesting. Think about what that implies. Mm-hmm. That the little flyerlings are effectively mindless servants, but, uh... I don't believe him. Well, we He's don't... a bit biased. Well, this is true, but we don't see much in the way of intelligent yeah. uh, dragonflies in the later story. So it's like, 
what's going on there? Is there something we're missing? And in this case, we need to go talk to Sid. I bet he's cold. This is a very cold place. Yes, my ears are freezing. I'd say our tail's freezing, but we don't seem to have any. <laughs> yeah. Our buns are freezing! <laughs> Hello, Sid. You have the man look of a man who has a quest for us. The best inventions. Sid would like to furnish the infirmary with a new alembic. Might I have a word with you, Ladonia? It concerns the Churgens. After speaking with them earlier, I learned that they lack sufficient alembics for their needs, you see. So I used some of their broken equipment to craft a more advanced alembic, both as a gesture of goodwill and as a means to help me recover my memories, since working with my hands kindles familiar feelings. All I require to complete the device are the cores of three ice sprites. Though commonly used to reduce the temperatures for, of alchemical mixtures, there is a way to alter their properties so that they draw the cold within rather than radiate it without. It must sound ridiculous to you, impossible even, yet somehow I know it will work. So we're off to get ice break cores. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine we'll have uh, too many problems finding those around here. Exactly need a Rylea cam when Rylea's not on. <laughs> and it looks like we go out this way. Ah, I see one, I see two. We need three. I see a third one. You see, I see. <laughs> so, mostly during the week, uh, Rylea and Theron have been doing grinding for their relic weapons. Uh, we. Oh, shoot, we never did get. Or, no, we did get into uh, the Regine this week for the weekly. Yes, we did. I have the machinist gloves to prove it. So yay, we've actually gotten further on that. That should be our three. Uh, yeah, yeah. And back to Sid, who's still being a little addle-brained. He's getting, getting better. There. Okay, Sid, we got those ice sprite cores you wanted. Have you obtained the cores? If so, please show them to me. Ice Sprite Core. So cold, these cores are said to freeze the very air around them, making them perfect for cooling drinks on an especially hot day. There hasn't been an especially hot day in this zone for five years. <laughs> what an amazing device! Uh, but is it truly an Alembec, sir? I've never seen the like before. I too am unsure what to make of this machine. While well, certainly impressive, I've no idea how to make use of it. Nevertheless, if it's as effective as he claims, it will be a great boon to the infirmary. Think of all the medicine we could create, the lives we could save. Even so, I wonder. 
Where the the kindly stranger, bearer of gifts wondrous and strange, for his generosity comes at cost. Hmm. Their earnest efforts are but a means to an as yet unknown end. Oh no, it's pretty well known. Moreover, you should be wary of associating with individuals who have interfered with the questioning of a suspected heretic. They did what? Bless you, Inquisitor, for coming along when you did. We almost come to the temptation preferred by these... these unbelievers! I don't like you, Mr. Inquisitor. Why does that man detest us so? Is it all because we interrupted Lord Francil's trial? Whatever his reasons, he clearly means to oppose us at every turn. Need to check my sounds. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We just hit level 40. <sighs> I have not. Neither have I. I've only got one class at level 40. So, take a break and do some dungeon runs? Something like that. Um, I mean, Black Mage is now like two thirds of the way there. Um,. Warrior is somewhat behind that. White Mage needs a couple of ant hills. Yeah, my White Mage is about one third left to go. Ninja is about one fourth. Pugilist is just sad. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Would Talon like to come along? <laughs> I'll be there in a minute. Sure. <laughs> ah, you're in Southern Front. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Hello, dear. I if you need to sleep, sleep. Mm-hmm. You did come home very, very late. Yeah, you, you did not uh, walk in the door until after we'd actually finished our Heaven on High stream, which is actually kind of unusual. So, we'll see how... Any class you need me as? Well, we've got Tank and Heels taken care of, so... All right. Let's see what to do, what to do. All right, go ahead. I'll just run as a machinist. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. And we'll go ahead and drop into leveling queue to start with. Sounds good. Oh my god, it's not an Instapop. What is wrong Damn, with the world? Wrong. <laughs> Normally DPSs are like, yes, and it's the I get a party. <laughs> there we go. There it is. J just slightly. Lifted. Sunken temple. Oh, no, it's Copper Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Running his machinist in my dancer outfit. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. And we have a red mage. Yeah, no one here really needs this. Yeah, well, oh, why did. Why did. Oh, and also. Yeah, that would be handy. Remembering which key is which. Come on, and if it will stop trying to re-steer me.
hurt, uh, hood hurt. Dead. Yeah, well. You're used to it. Meh. Hurts less than my feet. Have anything to do in this? Not really. I mean, there is a chest of goodies there, but no one needs it here. <laughs> yeah, this much is true. It was getting the guy on the other end of the bridge. Yeah. I know. Sorry for this red mage, because they have like no real cycle for AoE. It's just all black magic all the time at this level. Mm-hmm. kind of stand around time yep. while dramatic music plays. was a lot tougher. <laughs> oh, here comes the flambo. Look out, they blow up. That they do. Sometimes, when they don't die within two seconds.
took him long enough. Yeah. You know how long it takes him to get dressed in that armor? <laughs> you mean he doesn't just sleep in it? Hey, Ari. Don't be gross. Greed and greed, because we'll just be turning it in for seals. Yes. These guys make such great squeak toy sounds. Yes, yes they do! Poor little bogeys! straightening my hair when I have a hood on. <laughs> Cause, uh, uh, because you don't want hood hair. I mean, uh, really. Yeah, well. Guess we're going this way. You guys got this. Mostly. Yeah. Ooh, fire sand. say six ounces or ounces of fire sand is a really large pinch. Yes, it is. Yeah, I kind of just sit him over by the, uh, yeah, blasting cap. being pounded on by a uh, Earth Sires, whatever shall I do? Yeah, don't worry I'll about the Spriggan Tea, I've I'll got it. Put it. I'll put it. I'll put it. I'll Remember when this encounter was insanely difficult? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this one I remember. I got him. There we go. Oops. No, there we you go. Don't. <laughs> I, I saw all those arrows. Well up. I'll put it. I'll put it. Come on. Over here. Now everybody play nice. No, no, exploding is not playing nice. I'm gonna have to uh, send you to uh, slime in the corner. Rimuru, they are not. No. Take whatever path you feel like. As if I remember what the paths are. Oh, 
Oh, we'll get there eventually. This work? Yeah. Wow. Excuse me, he actually hurts. Yes, he does. Well, he is a big one. Yes. Didn't last as long as the defensive candy buff or buff. And, and somebody leveled. Yep, that was me. And you need to get yours to forty. The roulette bonus will easily do it. <laughs> now he's a big up. Yes, he is. wander over to the side on his own. That's right, he'll do that on his own. Yeah. There he goes. He will not be deterred. He shall prevail. Again. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't doubt it. So did the other guy. And actually, we're going to grind four. Oh, they left before we could calm them. I got him. Oh, Yay. good. Get that one because <laughs> it drops a couple of the same skirt. <laughs> All right, I will be muting. Mm -hmm. Well, that's uh, two forties. Yeah, that's one forty. But like I said, one of mine is at Ant Hill time. Uh, do you want to switch over to the one you need? Black mage is the one that needs it the most. Like I said, white mage is basically, I just need to go, like, heal an ant hill or two. Probably two. Um, Tay sounds like they're eating... Let's see where it, uh... It's the highest level we could do is Cutter's Cry.
Let's see how bad the uh, Q is for this. Sorry, Sid, you're gonna have to wait. We have to do the level thing. Because if we don't, Top. we're gonna get. We're gonna Top have problems. Top on the job. <laughs> Indeed. <gasps> And I like how Peeps is just standing on the table. And everyone's like, yeah, so. <laughs> it's a joke, though. They do that. I think he likes it on the table. <laughs> oh, wait. Ain't that right, Peeps? Oh, uh, you said you were eating, so... But, yeah, we, we totally we keep, have your help. Do you want in? <laughs> so you'll need to be... Uh, take your I said heel. I was muting. Oh, <laughs> I thought you said you were eating. <laughs> it streaks again. Give me just a second. Uh, yeah, you, you, you're in a busy with a triple triad game. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm back. We need either tank or heels, your choice. Uh, let's see. I will take tank. Dark Knight. Ooh. You are feeling the darkness. <laughs> and this should bring all our classes except for Dragoon and Pugilist up to 40. Oh, very it's, nice. Uh, like I said, a small exception on White Mage, but it's very close to level. I, I will also note that um, I believe doing that next week we get round of class quests. Yes. <laughs> well, um, job quests, yeah. <laughs> yeah, job quests. Lots and lots of job quests. Yeah, we'll have all our forties to do. Woohoo! Yeah, we've been meaning to get time on Pugilist and Lancer to get them up because, though yeah, with Lancer uh, especially, with uh, Pugilist, I'm hoping to get it up and then run the story back to back. Yeah, the main one we need to find a little time for is Dragoon, so we can do the story while we get and while we're still here. Yeah, because we're going to be leaving here soon. Yeah. So maybe well, we'll have to put it into like to our get, grinding for the relic to weapon. To get all four of mm -hmm. to get all four of our duggos, it took us seventeen clears. Woohoo! Mm. Don't forget, you can purchase the weapons and de them because we're still looking for the cloth, so we can make the barding for people. Mm -hmm. Roger that. Barding and technically minion, but I'm still working on the royal ferns for the minion. That's going to be another month at least. Ugh. Yeah, ouch. Yeah, the the gardening in this game is no joke. Because it the royal fern is a crossbreed of a crossbreed of a crossbreed. So I have to work them all up from base and that does not guarantee a fern pull when you get all ouch. the crossbreeds correctly. It's like... Mm. But then again, I looked at the market, it's like, I'm not paying 25 mil for a fern. <laughs> Jeez. And if you manage to make spares, think of the millions you can get out of it. The sad part is we still don't have enough scales to do the um, minion for Shiryu. The, um, I believe we all should have the minion thanks to Heaven on High for, um, Susano. 
I believe so. And I know there's a couple spares in the guild chest, so I'm really not worried about making Sue's no minions. <laughs> <laughs> I think Black. I think Lakshmi is taken care of. Yeah, uh, Lakshmi, kind of the same deal. There's a lot of minions in the FC chest for people, so if you wanted one, you had you have one, and more incoming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, after Lakshmi, what was the third one? Oh, the Shinru it would be Shinru. Which I have not seen drop out of Heaven on High, so... Or if it does drop, it drops starting in the 70s, which we're having problems pulling a uh, horde out of there. It's one of the reasons why I'm kind of grumpy that I keep getting stuck in the 70s on my solo runs. It's like, I'd like to pull a lot of the horde out, but I can't if I keep dying before I get to... A the level 80 boss. <laughs> so we're looking at having to uh, make those, and that requires the Royal Fern, and yeah, you've heard all that before. <laughs> and I don't think any of us have the uh, Sukiyami minion, which is another thing that uses the cloth. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't. Or I don't. So yeah, we got some work cut out, and we should probably take a day for Theron to make orchestration rolls, because he's at least got a couple there. Yeah. But I think there's only one orchestration roll for Sukiyami. Or Suku? Sukuyami. Yomi. Ah. I can talk, really I can. So that's a lot of work. <laughs> ah, someday we'll find a healer. Wow. Um, Nani. <laughs> There's usually more people playing healers than tanks. Come on, we got two good DPS. Let's go. Uh, I think this is a case we need to get Gyodo and Tsukige to glare at the duty finder. <laughs> <laughs> the Ara glare does much to alleviate the duty finder, let me tell you. <laughs> Someday? Maybe? Me? Maybe they just... Maybe they're waiting on a Viera healer. Yeah. <laughs> we can hope, anyway. But yeah, the, what we have left is effectively the quote-unquote four lords. There's only three of them that are trials. The fourth one was actually a dungeon. Yeah, Bun Bun Glares Hell's don't... Lit, right? Um... Yeah, the dungeon was Hell's Lid, yeah. So we've got Byako, Suzuka, and, um... The Snake Guy. I keep forgetting his name. <laughs> Suzuka is gonna be a fun fight. When we finally get to her. Oh, I know what we should have done. Maybe it's something I uh, I should poke at action. Is uh, one thing we might want to try. I don't know how well it would work. Is we go in with action and Theron as blue tanks. <laughs> because They'll let you do that? Yes. They will let oh, us dear. do that. Oh, and dear. there is actually spells that both Action and Theron need to learn from the Four Lords. Oh dear. Oh jeez. The Four Lord Extreme? Yes. Oh jeez. That sounds like a nasty trick on somebody's part.
when they raise the level cap to 70, all the extremes suddenly got stuff for the glue to learn. And I think it added in to Project Hentai. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, For Blue Mage, there is a mount you can get if you've got all the spells and have run all the dungeons and trials as blue. And it's effectively a giant morble. Oh, right. So people refer to it as Project (laughs) Hentai. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I got Nima good the other day. Um, I actually found a link to the uh, tentacle... Tentacle Grape Soda. You can actually purchase it online now and have it shipped from Florida. Uh, (laughs) He thought I was joking when I mentioned it in chat once. No, no, I'm not. (laughs) It's a real thing. (laughs) Oh, yes, it is. I'm a little disappointed that uh, Nima did not know of it already. Well, he knows of it now. (laughs) Yep. Um, wow. Yeah. This is bad. Yeah, especially for heals being in the group and all we needing is, or all we need is the heals. Yeah, we have tank in the group. Yeah, Foxfire Bun Buns just don't glare much. We rearrange hair. Uh, um, and his quest is 40, isn't it? Yeah. Which means we can do it now just with one class. Well, two classes in your case. Yeah. Well, why don't we start the quest? They'll usually only lock us out at the final turn in. Uh, y- y- as long as you have anything. There it goes. Ah. See, this is why we I was talking about you. doing something else. That usually is what triggers the duty finder. <laughs> and it's Cutter's Cry, so very good. Well, I purposely queued for Cutter's Cry. Oh, okay. Because it's... Maybe that was the problem. Well, it is an optional dungeon. Uh, I've literally seen people, it's like, you're in complete... Shadowbringer's gear. And this is your first time through Cutter's Cry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sam's underneath Thanalan. And we got a male Viera. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now to remember what I'm doing here. Well, if you need to cry uncle, definitely cry it earlier than later. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Our healer! I'm the only non-bun! Whoa! <laughs> yeah. No, by figuring out what I'm doing here, I'm talking about, oh, right, black man. Uh, oh, right. Okay. I really need Blizzard 3. Travel by quicksand. Ew! <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? And why are we going along with it? Oh, 
Oh, I do have an AoE! Yay! At this level, yeah. yeah. I, I mean... Though I'm missing... The level limit in here is 40. I'm missing something off my, uh... AoE bar, so let me fix that. <laughs> Oops. out your dead four. As you can mend two. And this is actually uh, gear for us. bigger rotations and they're not there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I, I keep wanting 
Ice 3 and it just doesn't exist yet. Someone else leveled up. Yeah! Yay, our healer! Hit 40. Yeah, I was noticing he was not. So he can probably get gear out of here too. Yeah. Which is awesome. Ah, good casty stuff there. Bad feeding up on Spriggan. 
<laughs> Hasn't gotten any better. No. I do not feel bad about beating up on the flying, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I remember I he I carried his plan. plan. when I see the boss. It's the chimera. I always need a refresher on that boss. <laughs> Ram's voice out. out. Dragon's voice in. Yeah, and I can never remember. It blew out purple in. Uh-oh. We're still in cutscene. Sorry. I did not mean to do that. I didn't realize he'd aggro that close. I'll try and call it out, but kind of fight a bit close in so you can run in pretty quick. Or run out as needed. In! to uh And he's totally getting a con. He was a good guy. Yeah. Assuming he hangs around long enough. I'm going to pass on that halberd for you. He hung around. Uh. Oh, right. Be a while before I can use it, but hey. And I already have it. Never mind. Probably got it the last time. I already have the belt. Mm. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, we can get back on the story. Because I think we both dinged. Oh yeah, I dinged. Yeah. Now, like I said, um, White Mage needs a little work, but we can do that out in the field, no problem. Okay. Okay, Sid, what do you got for us? Flag Warrior is slightly lower. Influencing Inquisitors. Sid is concerned about Inquisitor Jaliam. Before we can persuade Lord Drillamon to help us, it seems we must convince Inquisitor Jaliam that we are not his enemy. But just how might we go about doing that? Good question. He is a bit of a stick in the mud. I might say something less complimentary than that. <laughs> Little and less about the good Inquisitor, despite him being such a prominent figure in Corythus. Perhaps we should learn more by speaking with the people of White Brim Front. Share your findings with Alphana in the square. I'm sure he can formulate a strategy from there. And you're going to stay in here where it's warm. Sid Privilege? Yes. <laughs> Actually, there's someone here we need to talk to. Mm, right, right. Inquisitor Julian? Why, yes, of course, I know of him. Alas, I have not seen him since the day he came to White Vroom Front several moons ago. Uh, really? My memory is somewhat muddled, but I recall that a blizzard nearly buried us in snow that day. I had the ill fortune of being assigned to the Night's Watch. While the stronghold slept, we walked the walls and patrolled the exterior in a darkness black as pitch. My route took me outside the eastern gate at one point, where I caught sight of a silhouette illuminated by the light of day, uh, light of the city. Thinking it was a wayward traveler, I cried out and gave chase, but slipped and took a terrible fall. I woke, it was days later in this very bed where I've lain recuperating from my injuries ever since. I tried to rescue him, but in the end, the Inquisitor Jillam rescued me, carrying my unconscious body to the gates. I owe my life, madam, and I hope to one day repay his kindness. We had a uh, guest button. And looks like there's someone upstairs we need to talk to. Hmm. Uh, outside, maybe? I don't know, I can't get the pit far enough away so that I can... No? Down? Down. Oh, probably in the cellar. Which cellar? I think this one over here. Ah, Emily's. Inquisitor Gileam. I haven't the foggiest idea of whom you speak, unbeliever. I, we've learned of your deceit deeds at Witch Drop. I'll not be party to whatever dastardly schemes you're hatched against the Inquisitor. Away with you. Charming. No good deed goes unpunished. Under Inquisitor Julian's watchful gaze, unprecedented, uh, unprecedented, ah. unprecedented numbers of heretics have been unmasked and brought to justice. They say he goes without uh, days without sleep, so great is his devotion. Blessed are we to have such go uh, godly and righteous man to protect us. Yeah, I'm liking him better by the second. Or not. And here I thought it was pronounced stick in the mud. <laughs> Last of all. The, the, 
Holy See has decreed that the Inquisitors are the arbiters of Helone's will. They are to be afforded every courtesy and the utmost respect. Thank you. Odd that Helion would not be a pronunciation I would have guessed considering that it's basically a French version of William. Wouldn't you like a robe? I'm surprised you still have fingers, boy. <laughs> In case you have yet to notice, my attire is ill-suited to this climate. No, no, we have noticed this. Why are you still wearing that? <laughs> you know there's I an realized... outfitter just on the other <sighs> side of the encampment, right? I realized it soon after our arrival, but paid it no mind as I had hoped we might find the Enterprise far faster. Instead, we've wasted far too much time meddling in local affairs. <sighs> Never mind. Our journey is almost at an end. All that remains is to deal with this irksome Inquisitor. Sid tells me you've been busy making inquiries, yes? Hmm. It should come as no surprise that he is held in high regard. Even so, I am beginning to suspect he has other reasons for hindering us now. Let us more closely review the testimonials you obtained. Mayhap they will provide insight into Inquisitor... Er... Er... Is... I just can't believe that... Uh, that pronunciation. <laughs> Mayhap they will provide more insight into Inquisitor Angela Um's motivations. Hmm, a plate belt. But it's all gray, so I can buy it if I want to. Money! Money! By the lights of Ishgard. Alphano appears to be in deep thought. Really, I thought he was just turning blue. <laughs> <laughs> Something troubles me about that wounded knight's account. He claims he fell chasing a figure in the darkness that he saw outside the eastern gate, yes? The main road leads to the southwestern gate. Since we've arrived in White Brim Front, I've seen no travelers arrive by the eastern gate. Moreover, he said that he glimpsed a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city, which would imply that the Inquisitor came from north of the Eastern Gate, not south. But it cannot be so. That way lies naught but a deep chasm. Assuming Sir Julian is not misremembering, the Inquisitor's behavior that night makes absolutely no sense, at least, not, at least to me. Mayhap retracing his steps will shed light on this mystery. Yeah, um, this is the eastern gate here. Uh, that light over there, that, that, that's its guard. And... Yeah. Chasm does not even begin to describe it. Yeah, it's, Yeah, no one's coming this direction. Ah, there's a shard over there. Sorry. But still, yeah. no one's coming this direction. It is not happening. Unless they can fly, which is actually kind of possible, but... <laughs> <laughs> and somebody's doing gathering over there. I can see them stealthing from here. They be fishing! Fishing in the sea of clouds! Yeah, you can fish off this. Yes. You can fish in lava too, but hey! Um. <laughs> Think Baron might want to try that. Lava fishing? Oops! Yeah. Ow. Watch out for that first step! It's a doozy! What do we have here? A dead dragon. And a mound of snow. 
and plasmoids. By the way, where's Marshmallow? Uh, oh. He abandoned you! Silly burb. Without a word. Or a word. Or a quay? Yeah. Oh dear. Um. Yeah, we have a small problem, Houston. Yeah, um. Oh dear. <laughs> Doesn't he look familiar? A little too familiar. So Urza's gonna fly us back up out of this, right? She wishes. Oh, by the way, the, uh... Yeah, um... Yeah, that that's quite a fall, and there's only one route out. Yep. Come on, Urza. Let's go. At least there's a route out! You don't have to, like, scale the side of the wall. Well, considering they've never added climbing, that's a very good thing. For MMOs, I think, uh... Eiju Kunan is, like, the only one that really had climbing as a thing. Yeah, pretty much. That was actually kind of one of the, its neater things, and everyone completely yeah. dissed it as useless. It was like... But, but climbing! Marshmallow. Now he wants to be the center of attention. Yes. Herbs. Alpha no? You found something, didn't you? Well, don't keep me waiting in suspense. Let's see it. Bloody Encyclical. The scroll contains what appears to be an official papal appointment to the position of Inquisitor. Hmm. Given the contents of this encyclical, I believe you've just made the acquaintance of the real Inquisitor, Jilal. Newly come to Corthus and murdered on the day of his arrival. Yes, it would have been a simple thing to assume his identity, for even if he were to behave oddly, who would dare question the wisdom of a papal appointment? Still, while this, incontro uh, this is incontrovertible proof that the Inquisitor is an imposter, we have yet to discern his true identity, or why he has decided to oppose us. We must proceed quickly, before he learns that his deception has been discovered. A level 40 weapon coffer. Blood for blood. Alphano is determined to discover Inquisitor Jilam's true identity. Since Lord Drillama has already been turned against us, I fear that this encyclical alone will not serve to convince him of our claims. But what might persuade a man so quick to disregard the endorsements of two high houses? The cook did say that the Lord listens to and respects the opinions of his knights. If a certain knight were to provide testimony that supports our claim. Yes, mayhap that is the only way left to us. Confront Sir Julia with the evidence you discovered and see if it helps him to recall the truth of that knight. As a man of faith, he may find it difficult to cope with such a horrifying revelation. Nevertheless, we must do everything within our power to secure the Enterprise. And as you can see, I am all fired up now. Mm-hmm. You look toasty. Oh, you have returned. 
Is there something else you wanted to ask? Yeah, well, um, I'd like to ask about the route you took out of the city and why the Papal Inquisitor might be approaching the front from that direction. Inquisitor is an imposter. Don't be preposterous. That cannot possibly t be true. He's a paragon of virtue, dedicated a dedicated servant of the Fury. You would have me believe that it is all a lie. If you're so certain that uh, your ludicrous story is true, then go and speak with Sir Prunella. She was at the Eastern Gate that night, and she helped the Inquisitor carry me here. But I will never speak against the man who saved my life. Mm -hmm. Might be what he is counting on. Okay, Sir Perilla. Let's have a little chat. Shall we? You. I... I do not believe I know you, madams. Pray move along and trouble me no more. Yeah, uh, about something that happened a couple weeks ago. Are you in the habit of handing bloody documents to strangers? Why would you show me such a dreadful thing? I know not of it. Not at all. Certainly really? not if you don't, won't look at it. What? Do you doubt my words? Away with you. Yes. I will not suffer the slander no more. Hold on. I need to figure out how to type this. <laughs> B O U B T. B T, not B T R. <laughs> you you know, don't you? Fairy take me. I prayed this day would come. When Sir Jolant gave chase, I followed close behind. He didn't fall. One of the Dravonian abominations lashed out at him, nearly killed him right then and there. I drew my sword and rushed to his side, straining to see the enemy. But what came from the darkness was not a beast, but a voice. He... He knew things about me, about my family. Secrets I've never told another. He said that if I keep his confidence, Sir... Jolion would be the spared, but if I defied him, everyone I loved would suffer unimaginable horrors before they died. When at last I agreed to his terms, the man came forward. His robes marked him as an inquisitor, but I knew him to be false. Together, we carried Sir Jolion to the infirmary, and his first night in Whiteburn Front, Inquisitor Gilliam was heralded as a hero. Soon came the acquisitions. Countless men and women of good moral standing seized Wall's possession of Draconian rosaries. As I feared, he condemned the innocents to death. I wanted to confess to Lord Drillamon, wanted to put an end to this madness, but then I would remember the Inquisitor's threats, and so I did nothing, until Lord Flansel was accused. Some time ago, I followed the Inquisitor and found where he kept the Draconian rosaries in a chest hidden southeast of Whiteburn Front. So, I took several from this chest and planted them in shipments bound for Skyfire Locks. As I hoped, they were discovered and considered evidence of a conspiracy against House Halinat, thus exonerating Lord Francil and casting doubt on the other's recent trials. And that is the entire truth, I swear. Maloney, forgive me for not acting sooner. Well, well, well. The plot, it thickens. Where are you going? Um. Huh? Check oh. your quest log. Right. Right, right. Sorry, I, I thought we need to work to... Or drill them on. My bad. Quite ready for that. Need to dig up a few things and then we can tear the rubber mask off of him and, and find out he's actually the gardener or something. <laughs> He would have succeeded if it wasn't for us, uh, Vera, and our uh, chocobo. Us middling Vera and our chocobos. Yes. 
Oh, yes, that's a very suspicious box. With a rosary mm -hmm. sitting on top. How convenient. Don't mind us, Chocobo coming through. Work, work. Uh, Lord Trillamon, we have a have situation. Some serious news for you. Why do you persist in this folly? I will not grant you three access to the stone vigil. Do not make me repeat myself. Lady Encyclical, Draconian Rosaries, the, the brands of unbelievers and enemies of the Holy See. There had better be a very good explanation for why you are carrying these rosaries. And where did you find this papal encyclical? At the bottom of a, a, a chasm next to a dead dragon. And a dead person. Yeah, well. Well, well we found dead... it on the dead person. Yeah. Next to the dead dragon. Fury, take me. The Inquisitor is a heretic. Never before have I heard such an unbelievable tale. This evidence in your testimony could have no other explanation. I have misjudged you and your friends, Ludonia, Rena, and for that I deeply apologize. I will permit you to enter the outpost, but first I must needs beg your assistance. Help me and my knights bring this infernal imposter to justice. You can do it yourself. Show me the money. Mm -hmm. The heretic among us. Lord Rilama requires your assistance in bringing the heretic masquerading as Inquisitor, Inquisitor Jalam to justice. That thrice damned heretic has murdered countless innocents and made a mockery of our laws. Hells take him and his Dravanian allies. I am told he makes for Snowcloak even now, intending to pass judgment upon yet another poor soul whom he has branded heretic. If we hurry, we, there may still be time to prevent further tragedy. Lend me your strength. Together, let us put an end to this imposter's heresy once and for all. Yeah, I think we can do that. With pleasure. Lots of stairs. Lots and lots of stairs. Don't trip. It's gonna hurt. Stop. They like building vertical and they haven't invented the elevator. Are you sure about that? And In not inventing elevators? I don't recall seeing any in uh, Ishgard. And yet they have airships. Yep. <laughs> well, and that's because there's a few, you know, like, airship passenger lines that make money. I don't think anyone's managed to figure out how to make an escalator passenger line. Hmm. At least one does a, that doesn't uh, blow up in flames every uh, five years. <laughs> Mind if we go through here? Nah, we're chill. Uh, this looks like a problem. Yeah. Sorry, guys. You're gonna have to solve it on your own. And I'm gonna have to do this. Well, no. Yep, I'm doing this as ninja. <laughs> Good to have you with us, miss. 
When Lord Trillamon arrives, we are to confront the Inquisitor. If he refuses to go quietly, we will need to use force. Are you prepared for that eventuality? Ready, steady. I am not in a gathering or crafting class, so I am ready. Yeah, you're going to botany him to death. <laughs> You needn't tremble so, my child. The righteous shall enjoy everlasting peace in Haloni's Hall. Only the wicked. But why? Why must I die? By all that is holy, I swear to you, I have never questioned the teachings of Haloni. Inquisitor, release the maid and come with us. My lord, Drillamon. What is the meaning of this interruption? Are you, you are aware that I am present at pre that I am at present conducting an interrogation? Are you not? Silence, villain! I name thee heretic, murderer of Inquisitor Ernjalam, and countless innocents. You are a traitor to Ishgard, to your own kith and kin. Your sins are beyond measure, beyond redemption. Ah, uh, grave allegations indeed. But you will find your logic is flawed. How can I betray that to which I owe no allegiance? No, Lord Drelema, my conscience is quite clear, I assure you. I wonder, can you say the same? You whose hands are black with the blood of those whose only sin was to question your nation's crazed crusade. You speak to me of Ishgardian innocence, ha! Huh? All are complicit in these crimes, for all live their lives by the Archbishop's lies. But I know you will not hear me, deafened by dogma as you are. If you desire retribution, Lord Drillama, then come. Let us see how his guardian steel fares against Dravanian Fang and Claw. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Drillama the Honest. Show the heretic no mercy. He must pay for the innocence and blood he has spilled. Why, soon you will know the futility of your wrath. Let's get a little attention. Where's that knight going? Uh, maybe after these worm hounds? Show up. You see, Heretic, you and your allies are no match for the might of Ishgard. How wrong you are, Ishgardian. I have been blessed with power far beyond your kin. Come, my brothers, grant me the strength to smite our enemies. Oh yeah, here it comes. Yep, yep, this is a problem. You, you, you know it's bad, he's violating conservation of mass. Stand your crown, tis but as Hey, 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 I'm pinging you over here. Stop paying attention to Drillama.
turned into a dragon! They do that. Plans for and ruin, heretic. Choose your words wisely, for they will be your last. <coughs> you may not recall the many Ishgardians I have sentenced, but the families of the dead will never forget. Blood has been repaid with blood, and for that I am content. My, my only regret is that you yet live. But your end is nigh, foreigner. The dragons within the stone vigil will rend you asunder. And when you are dead, white brim front shall fall. <sighs> Defiant to the last. Leave the body for the crows. His ilk deserves not better. Adonia. Rena, I must apologize for involving you in this sordid business. You should never have been asked to intervene in the Shigardian affairs of state. Rest assured, I have not forgotten the matter which first brought you into our midst. It is past time you were reunited with your airship. But this is not the place to discuss such matters. Pray visit me at White Brim Front and bring your associates. Do it not. And unfortunately, that is where we're going to have to leave it for the evening. Yes. Well, actually, we're going to leave it at Camp Dragonhead because we need the rest day. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. I'm on follow. Okay. Time to go. Time to go. Yes. Yes. You're starting to look interested in us. Time to go. We are not Hoss and Pfeffer! <laughs> Silly Croc. So just a little bit more, and then we actually get into White, you know, white Brim Front. Or not, uh, um. Stone Vigil. Yeah, thank you. Actually, I believe that's the next thing kind of on the docket. Is sure looking like it. Um, After these uh, job messages. Also keep in mind, we have a... Since we've got level 40s now, we have the leaves that have opened up. Yes, I was noticing that bank. The chinchillas are staring at me with hunt targets on them. Meh. <laughs> it's a rogue thing. Yeah, I guess so. But a little bit of cleanup to do, and then dungeon. And following dungeon is trial. After some run around. Hmm. Oh, 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 right. Because, of course, all of this is working our way to Garuda, and we will soon have the airship. Yes, and we need the airship to go after Garuda. Yeah, it, this chain has taken so long, it, it's easy to lose track of the fact that the goal is Garuda. Well, that's because we're doing a lot of side quests and stuff. Well, there's that too, but, you know, even without that, this section does run a bit long for the runaround between here's where you're trying to go and here's when you get there. They shove a lot of stuff in between. 
But at the same time, this is a lot of important setup for oh, Heaven's yes. Word. Oh, Heaven's yes. Ward. Well, thank you all for joining us. Sorry we're running a little late, but that was actually a good point to end on for the evening. Yes, actually. Nice uh, dramatic close. <laughs> yes, it is. Next week, as a reminder, on Saturday, starting at 9.30, we will continue our Heaven on High climb on our mains with guest star Taylin for our climb. And hopefully, knock on wood, we'll get farther. Knock on wood. Uh, <laughs> and then on Sunday, we will continue with our bun buns and our casual playthrough. You guys have a great evening. Thank you so much for joining us. Get a good night's sleep. Stay safe. Be well. Hope to see you next week. Yeah, everyone have a great week. <laughs>